While those are all nightmare scenarios for any of us, the fact of the matter is most of us have experienced at least one of them at some point. Share your horror stories in the comments so we can hold each other and cry gently together. But dry those tears! I'm here to show you simple tips to back up your data so that next time corrupted storage will be one less concern to worry about. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha, and this is DIY in 5, the show where we make tech simple enough you can do it yourself in five minutes or less. Today we're talking data backups. We all know we should do them, but most of us rarely do. Today's tips will help all of us, myself included, with some simple tricks to ensure we back up regularly. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please feel free to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. First. Limiting what you want to back up will help immensely. If you're staring down the face of a two to three hour backup, it's a lot easier to procrastinate on than something that will only take a few minutes. Your first thought is probably work or personal files, documents, photos, videos, things which, if corrupted, could be impossible to replace. You can also choose to back up apps, programs, system settings that you may want to keep a version of, everything that would put your mind at ease if anything were to happen to your system. If you do want to back up everything, perhaps a one-time big backup followed by regularly scheduled mini backups for new data could be a good solution. Which brings me to the next tip, scheduling. Scheduling backups is a nice way to set it and forget it, all while ensuring you've got the most updated versions of your files at arm's reach. Depending on your workload, a daily, weekly, or even monthly backup might be appropriate. Most cloud storage options have a simple to set up automated backup solution, and you can even automate your backups to an external drive using Windows Backup, slash File History, or Mac OS Time Machine. Speaking of external drives, while a cloud backup is probably the easiest way to backup data, it shouldn't be your only option. Cloud companies can get hacked or change their user agreements, which might put your files at risk. Not to mention, monthly subscriptions can get expensive. The 3 2, one backup theory is always a good rule to follow when backing up data. Retain three copies of your data total, two copies on different devices, and one in a secure location such as a safe or off-site. This may be overkill for some, but it's tried and true for a reason. So following 3 2, one you may want a copy of your data on your local device, one on the cloud, and one on an external drive you keep in your home. When shopping for an external drive, you need to think about not just its capacity, but its durability and speed, as well as other more specialized features. The Kingston Iron Key Locker Plus USB flash drive has a USB to cloud backup feature to access data on the drive from your personal cloud storage through Google Drive, OneDrive, and more. Plus, there's hardware encryption on the drive. Double win! If you're looking for something portable, the Kingston XS2000 is small, fast, and comes in capacities up to two terabytes. If you're backing up something more sensitive and really wanna make sure your backed up data doesn't fall into the wrong hands, the Kingston Iron Key Vault Privacy 80 external SSD has a color touchscreen with OS independent hardware encryption. If that all sounds like too much, Kingston also makes USB flash drives, SD and micro SD cards that may work just fine for your needs. So to recap, decide what to back up, schedule and automate, don't just rely on the cloud, and better yet, follow the 3 2, one rule to ensure your data will be safe even if your hardware isn't. Oof, don't remind me. What's your favorite backup method? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.